As I sat in the hall in Birmingham, I had to pinch myself to make sure I wasn't dreaming. Putting British people first. Foreign doctors and students out. Companies forced to reveal how many foreign workers they employ. Of course, the British people are black, British people are Asian, and we are a proud rainbow nation. But that wasn't the dog whistle I heard at the Tory conference. The test should ensure people coming here are filling gaps in the labour market, not taking jobs that British people could do. Is it right to carry on importing doctors from poorer countries that need them, whilst we turn away bright home graduates desperate to study medicine? You train up local young people before you take on cheap labour from overseas. Listen, I agree we need to talk about immigration. But how can the government claim to lead a country that works for everyone when the message I heard was the old BNP slogan, British jobs for British workers? Well, the reality is, of course, Rachel, that uh, your role as a columnist and social butterfly is unlikely to be exploited or taken over by a Bulgarian or a Romanian. So yet again, I'm sorry to go down this hoary old line, but you are just not living the lives of ordinary people. Your, your job, your husband's job, your job, does not depend on being in a factory and being a builder, being a carpenter, being a plumber, whose pay has either been absolutely decimated or pegged for year after year after year because of the arrival of these people. What is wrong? Okay, wh where do you get anything to do with the BNP? Th that line was okay, used by Gordon Brown, for God's sake. Where do you get this as a BNP line? Well, it does have echoes of British jobs. But listen, OK, Nick, let me turn this back to you. If you were building a cupboard in your bedroom and you got two quotes, one was from a British carpenter and it was £4,000, then you got one from a Polish carpenter and it was £1,500. Which one would you go I'd for? I'd see both the work. I wouldn't automatically oh, go for... come on, Nick. Come well, on. Look at me in the eyes me? and tell me you wouldn't go I'd, for the lower quote. I'd be tempted to, but I'd probably try and ring somebody that he did some work for first because it's just okay. too, too cheap. Okay, and what if they said the poles were, were, were very good, they were quick, oh, they were Oh, fantastic, efficient. then I'll employ the Polish bloke. Okay, and yeah. then you would have been putting this British worker... No, he's got, to bring, his, he's got to bring his price up. I don't quite see what's going to do with the Conservative well, Party. He's been he might undercut build in a cabinet by in my How many of the people that are criticising the impact from workers have Polish nannies and Bulgarian builders? And the, the point is not that it's valid to have the debate about immigration, but it's the way you have the debate. It's the language you use. And for me, when I saw that speech at conference, I thought it said much more about us than it does about any real issue about immigration. Because when Gordon Brown used that phrase... He was absolutely lampooned by everybody. It is a BNP phrase, and he borrowed it. And actually, we can see now what David Cameron said when Gordon Brown used that phrase. I think we've got a clip, but we can show you the contrast. And if you want one example, just one example, of the absolute bankruptcy of this government, take the slogan the Prime Minister wheels out every week. British jobs for British workers. Yes. I did a bit more research to find out where he got his slogans from. Here's one he borrowed off the National Front. Here's another one he borrowed off the British National Party. Yes. Where was his moral compass when he was doing that? How can it be that David Cameron asked where your moral compass is for bringing that up? And now, just a few years later, it's, it's seen right. completely acceptable. Right. Keep, keep it your way. Keep it your way. Don't let British kids get jobs. Just let them stay. Just let them stay in their bedrooms What's with a life without employment, without a life without employment, a life without hope. Just sitting there watching daytime TV and drinking cans. So the, of reason, the, the reason there are unemployed British it, kids is because it. of no, foreign Carry on doing it your Nick, way. Don't just... give a damn about people up in the north who haven't got any bloody work or they've been undercut. Nick, this is just so liberal, London. So liberal. I wish you guys would actually get out of the bloody N25 every now and again. Nick, the only time you do is when you get on a train to go to Birmingham for the Conservatives. Well, Rachel, for me, you've just argued. You've just proved the point because what you just said to Nick is if you've got two people coming into your bedroom to fit a cupboard and one will do it for whatever four grand and one will do it for 1500 quid you choose the 1500 quid and that to me is one of the problems that we've got here so when you're talking about if you've got a carpentry company and they're they're going into Nick's bedroom and all they are doing is hiring going on in my bedroom I know I'm gonna, <laughs> quite extraordinary well, <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you've got a carpentry company and all they are doing is let's stick with your example hiring Polish carpenters in order to give Nick's bedroom a quote of 1500 pound then that is a problem for all of the British trained carpenters that can't do it for £1,500, they're doing it for £4,000. 
So what they're trying to do is say to that carpentry company, how much of your workforce, and I'm sticking with your example, how much of your workforce are Polish carpenters? If all you're doing is hiring 100% of Polish carpenters in order to undercut I don't know, the, the British carpenter down the road, this is where the problem is, and this is what they're trying to resolve. So for me, you're arguing the point. You're arguing the point that you're trying to undo. So I'm a bit confused. No, I was putting, I was putting the moral dilemma of com British companies have been having, in quotes, an addiction to foreign labour. I'm putting the whole dilemma to Nick, which is that when you are given two quotes and one's lower, you are tempted to take the lower quote, despite that the ramifications down the line, there may be the local community ramifications. But that's and why so this, 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 this is a party conference. Yeah. This is a party conference. A party conference is people, particularly people in government, say all sorts of ridiculous things that they then never do. Unless you already rode back on I mean, the, I, the Home Secretary, I mean, the didn't suggestion, you? the suggestion that, that, that they're going to ask companies to report who's, are they bringing in non-British labour. I mean, what is British labour? Well, they already do that in America, with? Greg. Yeah, you say it's, it's unusual, but, I mean, it, they copied this from America. Well, I, I, I was working out while we were mm. coming in here. I think I must employ over a 1,000 people in different businesses that I'm involved in. We won't do it. I mean, I think a lot of us just say, no, we're not going to do that. We're not, not going to do that. I mean, actually, in one of my businesses, we, we are where we're looking for engineers. We cannot find British engineers. We are now advertising in Italy and Poland to try and get the right sort of engineers because we yeah. can't get them here. This is, I think this is all tinkering. You know, when you talk about the North, I mean, I spend about half of my time as a professional in the North talking to people about unemployment. It's quite clear that the structural causes of unemployment are not that Polish people are coming in and doing jobs. You know, it's long term, uh, the long term decline of manufacturing, the sure. complete you know, destruction of the economic base in the North. The idea that then Eastern Europeans who come in and do agricultural picking or cleaning jobs for the minimum wage. Are about, the reason that people are suffering. And, and no, but the point is, instead of addressing the, the long term causes of decline and globalization and unemployment, again, we? we're just picking the obvious foreigner as a, as, a, as a target. And it's just unfair. And that's what worries me. You know, it's the unfairness and the dishonesty about it. I mean, we're talking about workers. What about universities right. as well? Our universities wouldn't have been able to survive if, if it wasn't for the money they'd be making of foreign students. And the university I went to was heavily reliant on American visiting students. Now, I don't hear anyone complaining about American students. Right. We all know let, let me just they're talking about students from right. Bangladesh well, and I, India. I was Chancellor of the University of York for 10 years. And in the difficult years, we relied 10% of the students were Chinese. And without those Chinese students, that university would not have grown in the way it's grown. And that goes for many of them. And the idea of suddenly blaming mm. students, I mean, it's pathetic. But I just don't think it'll happen. I just think this is the sort of nonsense that you get at party doesn't. conferences. The symbolism of it is so dark because it's flaming those divisions. And it's giving so legitimacy to the idea that you can just blame the visible what's foreigner in there. dark room? about trying to get Nick. your own indigenous population jobs? What it does is it lies. Let's just let's just say, say, let's say, say that. indigenous what, population. What is dark how exactly you want to define that? British. I'm going to say kids, but I know. There are plenty of people you mean who aren't white? kids who aren't what do you mean by No, British. You mean, right, British. So you don't mean white? Of course I don't. Blood. Don't be sorry. British okay, so I'm, I'm a... Gonna, if you just carry on with our piss off, because that's just ridiculous. Let's put you a bit further. That is just offence. I'm a Polish person. that came here ten years ago. I've now got a family here. So what are they? What do you, what do you mean? Sorry. Well, what are their kids? Sorry, you're Polish. I'm Polish. Been here ten years. What are their kids? Are they British? Where, is, where have the children been born? They've been well. Yeah. They've been born in Poland. Or born they've here. Born in Poland. No, no. Let's try. No. And, no. Let's try and get <coughs> British people into. Listen. Let me ask right. you this. this: Is what I always say, Afwa. Seriously, would you really n look after next door's children before you would your own? Of course not. I'd look after right. my okay. own children. Right. Okay. Okay. Stop. But it's that, easy that, to define that, who are my children. I don't know what you understand about children. the word stop. <laughs> stop for a second, right? So if you agree with that, why can't we look after British? I'm going to use the word kids again. British kids getting work rather than those from overseas. Because. Why? But we point should. is, it's not in no, there's no role. point is, it's you not, know I'm no, right. No, no, not you know I'm right. Exclusively. No, that's, it's a completely false analogy. That's Why? What I'm, I'm saying it's a false we, analogy. We've got tons of, of, I keep saying, young people and middle-aged people who have not got work. I cannot for the life of me see why folk come from other countries and take the jobs that they could do. I well, can't see that. There's I'm, a few reasons for that. So number one, if you want to look at how we get people into work, because I, I do this for a living as well, I help people get into employment. So one of the things you have to do is you have to make sure that people are educated in the skill set that businesses need. Because make no mistake, businesses are going to hire the best person for the job. It doesn't matter if they're from down that street or from that country. The business wants the best person for the job. So educationally, you've got to make sure that we're outputting children that are, that are trained to the skills that, that businesses want. So that's point one. 
Point two, we've got to make sure that our young kids, to quote your point, they understand you start at the bottom. You don't get elevated into this great job. Sometimes you have to do really boring, crap, low-level entry jobs to get your foot into the ladder. You have to. Because sometimes I think what we suffer with is a sense of entitlement. I'm not doing that job. It's rubbish. But I will do this job. Where does that come from? Enter somebody in. It's, it's from this cultural sense of entitlement. When I was young, I remember my brothers and sisters, they used to get picked up on a, a, on a minibus. I didn't because I got a job at Quicksave. I used to be on the checkout at Quicksave. My brothers and sisters used to get picked up by a minibus and driven to local farms. And they used to do fruit picking and vegetable sure. picking because they had to, because my mum and dad charged us all board. We had mm. to pay board to live at home. So they had to go do that. Nowadays, would the kids go fruit picking, veg picking? Oh, I've done it. Uh, but you're yeah, but I'm saying nowadays. No, no, you're it's... falling for this. You're getting old, aren't yeah. you? Because you're <laughs> falling for this. Oh, it was so much better when no, I was young. My, if my little, just bro not my little true. brother. Uh, if no, Michelle, my little brother we Michelle, can't can can stop. Yes. The childhood memories have got to stop for a second. All I want to say is this is my topic that what I felt happened at conference. Yes, it may have been mood music, but the government basically licensed some British born people to say that's my job you shouldn't have it you're foreign you get back to where you came from and they said we don't want foreign students and all the care workers and all the fruit pickers and all the people who run our you know build our houses which I agree. Sweet oh, right. okay. floors, I agree. They don't I agree. have a right to do those of jobs do. ahead of British people. No, that was right. a terrible signal to say. I, I, this is going to rumble on and on in the corridors after you, I can tell.